Now this is a hip roof. And I had Jason and the crews, they framed up 90% of it and left a little bit off so we can show you and explain to you how a hip roof is framed. Now in most cases, when you're looking at a house, you're gonna look at a standard gable roof. It has a ridge beam and all the rafters that run down each side of the ridge beam all the way down the house are the same size in length all the way down. Now a hip roof has a ridge beam that runs from the center of the room down to an outside corner, and the outside corner is 90 degrees. If you look at the rafters, they graduate up in size and length, but they have to be spaced 16 inches on center. And those rafters are called jack rafters. Now the pitch of the roof is marked on one end, and it doesn't matter if it's a common rafter or a hip rafter, the pitch is the same. The difference between a jack rafter and a common rafter is at the top. A jack rafter has to be cut at a 45 degree angle to meet the hip. But if it was a common rafter, this cut would be square, but the angle would be the same. Now, because it's a jack rafter going to a hip, we have to have a left and a right opposing so that when it meets the ridge, they line up together. Now, on the bottom, where the rafter sits on the outside wall, this is actually a seat cut or a crow's foot or a bird's mouth. This cut is the same, whether it's a jack rafter or a common rafter. So once we have all of the measurements, we write them down. Got that? We write them down. So that gives us the sizes, our left and right jack rafter. Now that we have them, we get our wood, we mark our lengths, and we cut them. Okay, so just lay them right up on top there for a minute. We'll get a little pile. See if there's, this one is going to be long enough. We'll start at our bottom measurement and work our way up the hip. So it's 21 and 3 eighths. The first thing we need to do is mark the angle of the roof or the pitch of the roof. Take our frame and square. We want to make sure that this line doesn't end up like that. You understand know, what I mean? We want to make sure we have a full cut on that end. So we mark. Our cut, that's going to be our left or right cut. We then take a quick measurement and transfer that line all the way up to the top because we want to measure right from that point. That's the long. And our first measurement is 21 and 3 eighths. So we take our tape, measure 21 and 3 eighths, put a mark, and I line that up with a pattern that I have right here. And I have to transfer this line up and I make sure that that lines up with my mark right there. Make sure that this is even at the top of the rafter and I mark inside the seat cut, just like that. Now it's very important that I use this template to mark the seat cut of every single rafter. The reason is, is if I cut this one and I use this as a template, I could cut that line too much, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch, well, the next time it may be an uh, eighth of an inch too long. So it would change the length of the rafter. So it's very important you use a template. All right, we're going to start at our shortest rafter, and we're going to work our way up. So we're going to place it on the outside wall. You're going to keep the seat cut down tight to the plate and tight to the sheathing. Now, the top of the rafter will find its place, but I also want to make sure that it's square with the wall. Hold it tight against the sheathing and then push it against the rafter. And you're going to make the top flush with the ridge right there, flush. And now you push down hard. When you nail it, I don't want it to move, so take the gun. And I'm going to put three or four nails in them. And you're going to try to nail it level. Make sure the rafter stays where it belongs, not too high. Now you got to hold it hard, because when you push that nail in, this is going to go and it's going to slide. All right, go. There you go. Ooh. Hold the gun, pull the trigger in. All right, so now this is going to be a rapid fire. You're going to drive it, and the gun's going to bounce back at you. So you ready, set. 
Okay, so now it's good. You put the nails in about an inch and a half from the edge. The idea of it is you want to make sure that this nail head grabs plenty of meat. So at least the thickness of the rafter, inch and a half back, is always good. And then toenail it slightly into the ridge. So those are good. Now we can toenail the bottom. Make sure the hand is always off the trigger when you pass the gun. Pass it like that. Now, now, with the idea of it, same thing here. You're going to toenail. So when you toenail, if you're going to toenail in this direction, the rafter wants to slide that way. So you're going to take your hand, you're going to push it up here, or you're going to take your knee and you're going to put it down at the outside edge and push down hard so when you nail it, it won't move. First thing you need to do is pull the trigger quick and then let it go because it will bounce. Give it a quick pull. There you go. Now put one more on this side and two on the other. If you take your second hand and hold the gun so it doesn't slide on you, you can hold your hand right down there if you want. Hold it, push hard in so it doesn't slip, nail it. Boom. Now come back. Now eyeball, gent just quick eyeball, so that when you nail it, it doesn't hit the nail that you drove on this side. Up high enough, slip it in, push hard, boom, look at that. Just like a pro. All right, let's get the next rafter up. Guys, nice job. You frame section of your first hip roof. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.